following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm on Rabalo's R242. Now, this can be rigged with either single or twin engines up to 400 horsepower. Let's start by getting right into the test numbers, and then we'll take a look at the features. The Rabalo R242 has a length overall of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and a draft of 20 inches. With an empty weight of 4,800 pounds, 40% fuel, and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 5,660 pounds. With a pair of Yamaha F-150 XV outboards powering our test boat, we reached a top speed of 45.6 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Best economic cruise seemed to be reached at 4,000 RPM and 28.1 miles per hour. At that speed, the fuel burn was 11.6 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 327 statute miles, all while holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 150 gallon fuel capacity. As expected with the extended V-plane hull that carries the running surface well past the engine mounting point on the transom, we had good times to plane and acceleration. We reached planing speed in an average 3.3 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, and 30 came and went in 7.1. Thanks to her 22 degree dead rise and sharp entry, she cut well through chop, and turns are equally predictable with a firm track and she comes around with no chine walk and an aggressive hold. We have the standard C-Star hydraulic steering with a tie bar linking the two engines. As always, I'd consider the optional power assist steering. During a quick offshore run, we found her skipping across waves with a clean re-entry and, try as we might, experienced no pounding or hull slap as we encountered the head seas at full throttle. This really is an exciting boat to drive and a well-mannered boat when the seas start to build. Safety is enhanced with her 33-inch freeboard aft and 43-inch forward. Now, Let's go back dockside and go over some of her features. Now, as we step inside, we'll start with taking a look at the fishing features. It is a center console, of course. So we've got rod boxes, black caulking, rod holders in the cap rails. And let's take a look at this. There's a lot of features right over here where we usually see the competitors cut out the bulwarks and put an insert in for rod holders. Here, everything is molded in. We've got three rod holders with tubes at each end to protect the rod guides. Notice the padding to protect your expensive reels. Padded bolsters start at 19 inches and go up to 27 inches. And down below, there's a tow rail to give you a little extra security while fighting a fish. All the way in the back, we've got a plug for the standard battery charger. On the aft deck, we've got optional cup holders that also double as rod holders. In the transom, we've got a 27 gallon live well that's divided into two sections. Hatches are held open with friction hinges and I do appreciate the lift and lock latches. Now notice that this is divided so that this can be a live well or a fish locker, or we can use it as a full length fish locker and even because it's insulated, use it as a cooler. And notice the internal blue LED lights. Looking forward, we've got a 70 quart cooler, five rod holders and powder coated rail going all the way across. Looking up, we've got the optional T-top. Rivalo only goes with fiberglass, no canvas. This one has four rocket launchers in the back. It's pre-rigged for Taco Grand Slam outriggers. LED spreader lights to both port and starboard. There's a molded in radio box and that's lockable. And notice again, white powder coated supports that include an integrated handrail that goes both high and low. So it's good for sitting or standing. And it integrates nicely into the side of the console. So we have 20 inches of side deck clearance. Now as we make our way forward, notice the bolsters go 360 degrees around the boat, plus the bow is surrounded by a stainless steel grab rail that is recessed, so it's not gonna snag your gear. Fully forward, we have an elevated casting deck 17 and a half inches off the deck, 30 gallon fish lockers to both sides and a 20 gallon live well in the center. Now while we're at the bow, we'll go ahead and transition over to operational features, beginning with the ground tackle, which is handled by a Lumar windlass, leading out to a stainless anchor roller mounted on top of the bow. Rabalo provides a cleat for securing the anchor road and taking the load off of the windlass. There's also a latch to hold it in place once it's stowed. The road comes up around the windlass and down through this notched hatch into the compartment alongside and we can get into it to manage tangles easily enough. Further to the side are foot control switches and we also have controls at the helm. Notice we have the optional pull up cleats and they're logoed. There are deck drains to both sides, adding a measure of safety, plus easing the cleanups. But more to the point, notice how these are integrated. Most often we see just a hole cut with a hose attached to that and a steel grate over it. These are molded right into the deck. The helm console starts 
with an acrylic glass windshield that has no distortion at the edges. There's two storage compartments at the top for your cell phone and they're self-draining on the side. A shaded brow covers the panel which is set up for two 12-inch displays. Rocker switches below are all backlit and noted with icons and labels. Digital gauges in the center. To the side we've got Lenko trim tabs with LED indicators and notice they're just ahead of the throttle so we can manipulate them while our hand is still on the throttle. The steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base and I like that Roballo included the steering knob. The Clarion stereo is standard, it's also Bluetooth and USB capable. Both plugs right alongside here. Down below we've got a covered glove box, open storage and a footrest. We've also got the forward spreader light and I also appreciate that the supports don't come across the windshield like we see in a lot of competitors models. The helm seat is double wide with separate cushions and bolsters. I'd like to see a single set all the way across. With the helm center mounted, we're sitting in the middle of the two cushions. I do like that the end is padded because most often we'll be sitting sideways to keep an eye on the lines when trolling. At the stern, to get into the mechanical components, I expected the usual open up the bench and there's a hatch in the back, but not so on Rabalo. Look at this. The entire transom opens up for full unencumbered access to the holding tank, pumps, filters, bilge pump, all easily accessible. Now, we can transition to family features, which begins right here with this transom seat, five feet, two inches across, and notice how easy it was to deploy. Plus, it's got an angled backrest to give a little bit more comfort. Safety is an easy concern. Of course, when you're facing forward, you can brace yourself into position and hold on easily enough. Of course, there's dual platforms, one to each side, but to the starboard side, we also have a pull-out swim ladder. And before people come aboard, there's the all-important freshwater shower. Now, while we're talking about family comfort, it bears note that there's a couple of creative items going on with this console. First of all, it's a lot lower, so you can see both standing and sitting, and the kids will love it. But, more to the point, it's on average 18 inches smaller than the usual console, so we've got more room to walk around. Side access is not an issue because Roballo has a patent on this door that allows forward access to the head 22 and a half inches across. Inside, we've got a head with a vacuum flush toilet, lighting, ventilation to the side. I also appreciate the towel rack on the back of the door because it's convenient for opening and closing. We've got the usual seat ahead of the console with grab handles to both sides, and this allows easy access to the index storage just ahead that's got dedicated space for a five gallon bucket. Notice that the opening is guttered to keep water away from the interior and keep items dry. Of course, the bow seating is all padded and very comfortable. There are seat backs that can go in place if you want to go with that option. Now is also a good time to talk about some of the quality we see here. Firstly, notice the double tone to the upholstery, custom embroidery, it's triple French stitched with a backing along the seam for added strength. And this is 36 ounce vinyl. It's among the thickest in the industry. And this one has a 10 mil top coat for stain and UV protection. And of course, a filler cushion turns the entire area into a sun pad. So clearly the design team at Roballo has come up with a 24 foot center console that's got a lot of functionality for fishing and it easily transitions over to family features. And that's my look at the Roballo 242 for BoatTest.com. I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.